Well, welcome back everybody. We're 45 minutes past the hour on our Thursday and that sun is slowly starting to rise on the horizon and we've got a great shot of a sunrise looking out through downtown Meridian right now. You can see just a lot of pastel colors of the sky. Just a beautiful start to our day, but it's a little chilly out there. Temperatures right now are in the lower 50s, but thankfully those dew points are in the lower 50s as well. So just a very crisp, very cool start to our Thursday morning. And that's going to be the case as we head throughout the rest of our morning where there's temperatures a little bit lower, but that sun bringing a lot of sunshine and store. And then by 12 p.m., those temperatures starting to reach into the upper 70s. But overall, not too terribly hot today. Highs today are going to be in the lower 80s. So if you're getting ready for school or work this morning, definitely might want a jacket heading out the door with those temperatures being in the 50s still. But by this afternoon, definitely might not need it. Now heading into our evening, once that sun sets, temperatures are quickly going to drop. By 9 p.m., we're going to be already in the mid-60s, and then by 10, sitting in the lower 60s. And then those overnight lows for tonight, going to be in the lower 50s. But again, a lot of clear skies in store, and I bring this up as a first alert because we have the chance to see the northern lights once again this evening. This picture was taken by me in Starkville back in May, so we'll have the chance to see conditions and skies just like this this evening. So if you want to get a picture just like this, turn down your exposure on your phone and face north and you can snap a picture just like this and submit it on our website or on our WTOK weather app. Now for tomorrow on Friday, our temperatures are going to be back in the lower 80s for the afternoon, but overall a sunny day in store once again. And then tomorrow night brings us another week of Friday night football and this is WTOK's tailgate of the week. Choctaw Central at versus Newton County. That tailgate still a little bit warm as the sun is up and temperatures in the upper 70s, but by kickoff starting to quickly drop into the upper 60s. And then this is WTOK's game of the week, Kemper County at Noxubee County. That sun already setting by kickoff, so temperatures being in the upper 60s, then by halftime in the mid 60s. And both of those kickoff forecasts were brought to you by Hardee's. Now we're taking a look now at Hurricane Milton. It is a Category 1 hurricane still, but it made landfall yesterday on that west coast of Florida as a Category 3 hurricane, but now the storm pushing out to sea. And we're bringing you a first alert update about Hurricane Leslie. It has now strengthened into a Category 2 hurricane, but the good news is the storm still making its way into the northern Atlantic, not impacting us in the states. We are still watching another area of development off of the west coast of Africa, but it's only been given a 10% chance to develop within the next two to seven days. But your first alert weather team definitely going to keep our eye on it and we'll keep you updated with the latest information right here. So now we're taking a look at our seven day forecast and you'll notice a lot of sunshine across the board. No rain in sight for the next week, but on Sunday our temperatures get a little bit warmer sitting in the upper 80s and then on Tuesday another temperature drop as another cold front moves through. Now we're